Lee Song Yong is a South Korean actress, model, singer and entertainer. She debuted as a model and signed up under YGK Plus agency. Her fashion sense also often become trends in South Korea because of her unique yet comfortable sense of style. She's quickly gaining popularity from Hallyu fans around the globe. This multi-talented weightlifting fairy star has captured the hearts of many fans not only through looks, but through talents too. Here are 10 things you must know about her. She dreamed to become a policewoman then a pianist. She had the urge to become a police officer when thieves broke in her parents' house. However, the fact that she likes being dressed in uniforms was another reason that made her have the thought of being an officer. Before pursuing her acting career, she was once a music student studying piano and wanted to become a pianist. Aside from playing the piano, she can also play the drums. It is only through her friends and family that she tried out modeling. She can be an idol if she wants to. There really isn't anything she can't do. Not only she can act, but she can dance and sing pretty flawlessly, just like an idol would. She proved herself to be a total performer. She even went to King of Masks Singer to show her singing talent. The judges, assuming she was an idol, were shocked when she finally revealed her identity. She has launched several kinds of music. Some of them are my lips like warm Kofi, I love you, true colors, get back up again, my only one person, I am what I am, tomorrow will be a better day, show time, and many more. Recently, she showed her dancing skill in dance visual film with Kim Min Jae. She had to gain weight for drama weightlifting fairy Kim Bog Ju. Apart from Dr. Romantic 2, her role on weightlifting fairy Kim Bog Ju is maybe the most valuable role for her. She had to gain weight for the particular role. She plays a weightlifting athlete, so that is required, as she said, I diligently gained weight. I worked hard to create a healthy image. According to the production crew, she gained 5 kilograms, or 11 pounds. This drama also made her set a stone in her international popularity. Aside from that, from the drama, she also able to met her past boyfriend, Nam Ju Yog. Her lose weight tips. Undoubtedly, he has a flawless body figure that every girl desires. After weightlifting fairy Kim Bog Ju, she needed to lose her weight back to her actual size. In variety program Please Take Care of My Refrigerator, she revealed that she never liked salty food. She liked them when she was young, but because she bloated easily, she ended up not eating them. Besides that she also doesn't eat flour often. But gluten goes well with her. She added, I never starve myself to maintain my figure. I fear that if I starve myself, there will be a yo-yo effect, so I slowly and deliciously enjoy cooking that is healthy. For exercise, I do core workouts that raise my basic metabolism rate. She also emphasized to not starve yourself when dieting. Instead it's better to cook healthy food and control the food intake. It will be better because humans still need energy for activity. Her relationship with An Yo Sop was awkward at first. She and An Yo Sop worked as co-stars in SBS drama Dr. Romantic 2. She played as a second-year cardiothoracic surgery fellow who cannot bear to do a surgery without vomiting or falling asleep when she takes medicine. The character had a complicated relationship and often in competition with An Yo Sop's character. In an interview with Star News, she revealed that her relationship with An Yo Sop was awkward at first. Yosop acted in a sincere way, so as his co-star, I was also able to act more comfortably. It was great because although it was awkward and difficult at first, as time went on, working with Yosop also became more comfortable. People often misunderstood her for being unfriendly. She has various comedy projects and also has a great sense of humor in real life. But did you know that she got the sense of humor because people often misunderstood her for being unfriendly? In an interview with Cosmopolitan Korea, she described how she personally builds relationships with others, saying, Ever since I was little, I was often misunderstood and felt hurt because of my appearance that makes me look unfriendly. That's why I purposely tried to approach people in a silly way to make them laugh, which has just become my personality now. Especially when I work, I know that others find me hard to approach, so I work harder to approach them first. She felt more comfortable around guy friends. He said that she felt more comfortable around guy friends. On the other hand, she also confessed that since they're such close friends, they don't see her as a woman. She is close friends with some famous actors, as she said, I've already known and been friends with Lee Jong Sog for 10 years. We have all the dirt on each other from the past. I also am close with Choi Tae Joon, we used to live in the same neighborhood. She also became friends with Jong Gi Yong while modeling before debuting as actors. The actor made a special appearance in her 2014 debut drama It's Okay, That's Love, where they portrayed a couple. 
the two former models have stayed close while building impressive acting careers. She helped her younger sister to become a musical actress. She has a younger sister who's a musical actress. She described herself as a huge fan of musicals and said that she and her sister have enjoyed dancing and singing since they were young. She talked about her sister in an interview with Han Guk Ilbo, saying, I think my sister was influenced by me. She was going to pursue art, but she suddenly said she wanted to do musicals during her senior year of high school. She asked, what do I do if this isn't my path? How will I make a living? And I told her, you can try and then quit if it isn't for you. You'll have a different dream then. The actress said that she used the money she earned from working to send her sister to academies. Because their family was not well off, she became the support system for her sister. My sister thinks of me almost like a mom, she said with a laugh. She thinks she's indebted to me, and I jokingly say, pay me back tenfold. We're sisters who have a good relationship. She has a fear of kimchi. Fear, or phobias, are often rooted in a traumatic experience in someone's past, most often from early or late childhood. Quite often phobias are fairly rational, but there are a number of phobias that seem to come out of left field. While many Koreans cannot live a day without kimchi, actress Lee Song Young has an intense fear of it. In May of 2015, she revealed how she came to fear kimchi on JTBC's Please Take Care of My Refrigerator. When she was a student, one of her teachers had forced her to eat kimchi because she had been picky with her food. From then on, she was unable to eat kimchi ever again. She loves traveling. Everyone has activities that they enjoy outside of the profession. Lee Song Young expressed her love for traveling in fashion magazine Grazia and said, traveling is the only way that I can actually rest. Even if I am technically resting, if I'm in Korea, it doesn't actually feel like a break because there's always something I could be doing.